Welcome. What I want to do today is show you how to factor this massive expression. This is massive. So to factor this expression, uh, remember the first couple things we always want to look at is seeing if you can factor out a GCF of some sort. And you know all the numbers do have a GCF um, that I could pull out. But you know before I get into that, I look at my, I look at all my letters, and I'm actually going to go about a different route with this. Um, I'm going to look at these and say, you know what, I'm going to factor out the GCF right at the end. What I'm going to do is I'm going to factor by grouping first, and then I'll factor out any left GCF I have. And you'll see exactly how I'm going to do that. But remember, when we're factoring by grouping, the first thing we always want to do is, you know, group our first two terms and just see what we're going to get. Now, out of your two terms, when you're grouping, you want to factor the GCF out of the first two terms. Now, numbers aside, you can spend all day you want to on factor trees and see what the numbers aside are. When you look at this, though, if I was going to factor out my variables, I'm going to have to factor out an a cubed, right? And being left over would be an a w. And over here, whatever my number is, plus I'll have a y k. Okay? Now, like I said, there's going to be some, some boxes, some points where you know, you're going to put your number in depending on what the GCF is for the numbers. But it's important for you to understand that. I remember when I told you, whenever you factor GCF and you get this answer, this has to be exactly the same over there. Well, if I was going to factor the GCF out of my variables here, I look at and my GCF is going to be exactly the same again. I'm going to have an a to the cube. Regardless of what the numbers are, when I factor out a to the cube, I'm left with a k plus a yw. And what you notice, like I said, regardless of what the number is that you're going to be factoring out, these two terms are never, ever going to be the same. So when you come up to this point, we need to stop and say, all right, I can't factor by grouping by just grouping the first two and the last two terms. So what we're going to do is think about what are ways I can rearrange these, number, uh, these terms so that I can factor them out together. And what I do is, a quick, easy way to do it is just interchange your first two, uh, your middle um, terms. So now when I write the, my equation out, I have 72 a to the fourth w plus 210 a cubed yk plus, oops, I'm writing the exact same, sorry. We have plus 90 a to the fourth k plus 210 a cubed yk plus 168 a cubed YW. So now, let's just do this again and see if it works. So I'll group my first two terms again, and I'll group the last two terms. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the exact same thing, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to work on factoring out the GCFs. So rather than also looking at your numbers, you'll notice that I'm going to get, if I factor out my GCF, which would be an A to, um, a to the fourth, and this will be an A cubed, um, let's see here, those are both the same, that's both the same. I thought that was, I thought that was your a to the fourth a cubed, 210 is a cubed. Yeah. Okay, all right, we're all good. So here, if I factor out my a to the fourth, I'm going to be left with, when I factor out an a to the fourth, I'll be left with a w and a k. Over here, if I can factor out an a cubed y, I'll still be left with a w and a k. So that works. So I look at my numbers and I, you know, I'll work the numbers a little bit and I notice that the common factor for this out of my numbers is going to be the number 18. So I'll factor out an 18 and then out of the variables, the greatest common factor is a to the fourth. So when doing that, all right, when I factor it out, what I'm left with is a simple 4w plus 5k. Over here, I need to look and figure out what my greatest common factor is. And what I notice is it's going to be uh, 42. And so when I factor out a positive 42, a cubed y is the greatest common factor for my variables. I'm left with, again, a 5k plus 4w. Now, I know that these aren't in the same order, but like I said, addition is cumulative. So we can just rearrange those. But what we notice is these are exactly the same. So what I can do is now factor those two terms out. So I'm left with now 4w plus 5k times 18a to the fourth 
plus 42a cubed y. Now, it's important for you to understand that over here, I can factor out again out of these two terms. So I can factor this even further. So my final answer uh, for my problem is going to be, I can factor out of 1842, I can factor out a 6a cubed, which will leave me with um, a 3, 3a plus 7y times 4w plus 5k. It's kind of weird, w, I know. Um, but yes, ladies and gentlemen, that is a huge problem um, that you can go ahead and see. But um, like I said, you just need to follow the steps, work through it, and that's how you factor by grouping. Thanks.